Hey there, guys. This is TC Made with TC Gaming coming at you with another live stream. It's a little late tonight. We had a little bit of a uh, networking issue over here with our service provider and uh, just got everything back up and running not too long ago. And then I wanted to compile some shaders and stuff because a lot of the times when I'm doing these, it takes a little while to get things up and running for uh, actually bringing them to you. So, again, we're talking about the uh, City Polygon assets having a 50% off top 3D sale for the month of May. So I wanted to get some of these uh, content packs out to you in case you wanted to take a look at them. Again, uh, I don't work for Polygon or for Cynthia or whatever, and I'm just somebody like you working on doing game programming. But I wanted to run across these asset packs for you because they're having an incredibly deep sale right now. The ones that we're talking about tonight are going to be the Sci-Fi City pack, which is uh, currently at $25, which is your 50% off price. And then also the Polygon Sci-Fi Space pack, which is currently listed at $60, so that's a pretty good value on that as well. So let's jump right into it. We're going to do our asset pack overview, and we'll do some uh, fly arounds of the level. And then I'll probably cut it a little bit short tonight. Tomorrow night I'll be back on with the additional maps for um, probably going to do the town packs and uh, city packs and stuff like that. And then I think I'll probably wrap the series up with the uh, western and some of the other stuff that I have. But, again, I'll just go do a little fly-through for you here. Get my camera cranked up pretty good. So, I'm also going to flip on my chat window real quick. Just on the odd chance that somebody gets an opportunity to join again. I know it's late. It's a little after 11 o'clock here in the United States on the East Coast. But, let's see if anybody happens to get on there. Feel free to stop by and say hello. My network is really laggy right now. All right, so here we are. I got my chat window up in case anybody pops in. I'll glance at it from time to time. So here's our, uh, this is our Cinti Polygon Sci-Fi Asset Pack. This one is for the City Pack, and this is just the overview map for that. So what I normally do is I do a little bit of a, a fly-through here, and then we go into a little bit more detail. If somebody has something that they want to see, let me know and I will zoom in for you but just giving you an overview here again uh, you know the prices for these things at 25 and 60 dollars for the other pack that we're going to be showing you current value if you just count the sheer number of assets that are included in these packs the the pricing is incredible but here we go we have got a line of nice little effects here some billboards for you a couple special effects there and if you zoom down a little bit, I think you can see they get some pretty nice little laser weapons and stuff in here and rifles. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. And a lot of these things have, uh, you know, easy to swap out texture files as well. So, you know, if you like the, the look of the gun, but you don't necessarily like the coloration on it or something, or if you wanted to badge these up, you certainly do that. It comes with a fair amount of little characters in here, too. Let me zoom back. What are you getting here? About... Uh, Looks like maybe about 20 different character models in there. There's some attachments. Again, I don't know how well this translates to the uh, to the screen that you guys are looking at this on, but if you have something that you want me to f zoom in and feature, you can certainly do that. Get a couple of really cool little space vehicles out here as well. A lot of building textures, little uh, sci-fi city signs. And a hex grid, I guess if you're playing something where, you know, you're moving in uh, hexagonal movement across uh, interplanetary travel. That's one way to look at it. One way to do it. Looks like a hoverboard. Maybe a hover cycle. A couple of turrets. Some um, futuristic space buses and transport vehicles. I mean, just a, a lot of stuff here. <clears throat> Excuse me. What's this over here? I don't even know what this is. What is this thing? Hmm. Some type of a... This is some type of an engine or something, maybe. Maybe for a larger build. Come around over here a little bit. Let's take a look at what we got. A couple little interactive uh, computer stations. Chairs for the bridge crew. A lot 
of neat stuff. The funny thing, too, is um, I've had these packs for quite some time, and I got tied up in working on some other some other types of uh, builds and stuff and just never got back to these, but they are beautiful. And for the price that you're getting them right now, if you're into building any kind of sci-fi stuff or, or whatever, this is a really cool opportunity for some low-poly builds. Low-poly is also good, in case you haven't uh, played with it before, low-poly is pretty good for um, virtual reality type stuff. You know, it's just... Um, when I first got some of the Cinti Asset Packs and I started playing around with the VR kits and everything and pulled them in, they, they really look good in there. I've noticed, too, a, a weird trend there the last couple nights. A lot of people looking at the uh, the videos that I'm putting out for the Cinti Polygon stuff, and I've been getting a couple of questions regarding smoothing out the models and making them look more, um, you know, a little, little less... Uh, faceted or whatever to quote one of the uh one of the questions but the Cinti polygon models they, they look that way because that's the intent you know i mean they certainly could make these things look a lot more smoothed out or whatever but low poly is kind of its own little genre so i would imagine that you could take these into some type of an art program and manipulate them and then bring them back in but you know that's that's a question outside of the realm of what i'm dealing with that's something you'd have to talk to their uh, licensing department to figure out what the legality is for that type of thing. I would imagine once you own the assets, you're able to modify it, but you probably cannot sell it or any derivative work from it, you know, as a standalone product. You'd have to have it embedded in something that you were releasing as a game. I imagine it's not an issue, but again, I'm no lawyer, and don't quote me on, you know, being the, <laughs> the end all on that. I would highly recommend checking with them if you plan to modify their stuff and incorporate it in anything. But a lot of cool little buildings and stuff. And what you'll see in here now, this is the demonstration map, but what you should see in here is the, in the overview map, or I'm sorry, in the uh, demonstration map here, we'll go into that now, how they incorporated all this stuff to put together a nice little city scene for you. So you can see all those buildings I was just looking at. They basically blocked this whole thing out with wall, um, you know, wall chunks and sections and stuff and then you just kind of put the city up as a backdrop these other buildings give you some depth but if you look out here if your character was out here there's nothing there's nothing out there and that's a common that's a common trick with large builds you put different uh different sized buildings at various elevations throughout the thing to make it look a lot bigger and then just block it off so you can never get there any game that you're playing that has a large uh thing like that that's kind of in a confined area that's the way you're going to find that uh, being done. But the other thing, too, it looks like this has a pretty nice-looking uh, skybox in there. I don't know if that was included. I didn't dig through the uh, texture packs or anything to find out what's in there. But, but I mean, just look at the, the stuff that comes with this kit. All that should have been in the overview map, but if, if you didn't see it in there, you're going to see it in here because they have packed this thing. This scene is really, really well done. This is actually the trailer for this thing looks pretty cool and I also saw this Cinti sci-fi kit featured in a uh, dungeon architect video and a prefabricator video from uh, Ali Akbar which is the developer of those two tools those are some pretty cool things as well which leads me to believe that this might be a little bit more modular than maybe some of the other Cinti kits have been maybe somebody who has these and have worked with them in that way could tell me if that is true or not but uh, the Ali Akbar thing for the um, the dungeon architect tends to work a lot better if you have modular assets just because you're trying to snap things at, at a constant value to lay them down. So I would guess that these are probably a little bit more that way, unless he's really taking a lot of time to build individual things, I don't know. But I mean, even even just the detail of these little city scenes, they get you, get you thinking. Zoom in a little bit here. <laughs> Cheap cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny of all the places that I would zoom into it has to be the worst place the worst section in town it's always my luck you know I always end up in the bad parts of town I really honestly had no idea I was over there so not that uh, not that it offends me but I just think it's funny digital implants that's coming up soon I guess let's see looks like they got a lot of the same signs out here it's pretty funny I never really got down to the street level on this uh, map. 
But if you're working on some uh, sci-fi stuff and you like the uh, Cinti Polygon, now, you know, you can also mix these things up with other low-poly um, assets that you can find out there as well. Usually low-poly in general tends to work out pretty well. <clears throat> um, the biggest thing I've found with working with low-poly assets is that the colors and the textures are the things that you want to work work out between different models. So you can have the same models with slightly different texture colors on them and just use uh, use the same texture files that you get in one of the kits to swap them out with the other ones and, and usually you'll have something that you couldn't tell you know where it came from <clears throat> so that is the polygon sci-fi uh, maps for the demonstration the overview and uh, you know we went through here the other night I just wanted to look at these characters because I couldn't really count exactly how many were there but it looked like quite a few I guess I can zoom the thumbnail scale in a little bit maybe we can see a little bit better Probably more than enough. So we can just kind of look at this. So you get a couple of different alien creatures that look pretty cool. Yeah, these are pretty neat models. Huh. So I'll be interested in seeing how they're uh, how they're set up. I haven't looked at the skeletal mesh for these either. Wonder how they are. Looks like they're pretty common to, yeah, looks like they're pretty common to the other ones. So if you watched my video last night where I was working around um, one of the Sinti um, polygon characters being uh, retargeted to the ALS or the DCS framework, which I did the night before that, or any of these other ones, there's a couple of ways that I'm working out to try and make these easier to translate into uh, Sinti, Sinti to um, Unreal or to, to use other frameworks and stuff. <clears throat> for the most part, these things are rigged just like the Unreal Skeleton, but they're just missing some of the bones that might be found in other packages. And when you try and merge those things in together, they have to have to write these bones to exist on the new skeleton. So once I get that all figured out, I'm, I'm going to see if there's a way that we can uh, make that easier for other people to, to do it. So let's go into Sci-Fi Space. And in this map, we have a couple. We got an overview, an interior, and an exterior. So we'll go into the overview map. And zoom out of here. So this is nice. This gives you. This is the um, space kit. I think it's just called. I think one of them was called Space, and the other one was called City, right? Yeah, so this is Sci Fi Space. So it's going to give you a little bit more access to your planets. And look at that nice little beam. I'll just pan around here. you got a space station, a couple space stations, a couple of planets. And let me go down in here a little bit. Zoom this camera in a little since we're flying all the way across space. So yeah, look at this. You've got some really nice looking low poly ships built in. Ready to go. And those are nice looking. I dig them. And these space stations. Looks like a cargo hauler. Wonder. Let's go in there. Okay, so there's no interior to that. No interior. I mean, there's an interior, but it's not, not decorated or anything like that. So these are your exterior. Some of your exterior components. And then we'll probably see... Over in the other one, I would imagine it's the same way. Nothing really in there. You can just zoom right through. Nice rocks. And I want to get back out here a little bit further, and then I'm going to go back down to this street level. Or not street level, but down to the bottom level of this map. And we'll cut this down some again so we can kind of get down into that. So here you've got, looks like turrets and auto weapons that you would mount maybe on the sides of your ships or at your base station something like that look at all these guys over there we'll go check them out in a minute we've got some smaller granule rocks you've got some effects already laid out for you 
Tell you what, if you're making a space game and you buy these two packs, I guess right now they're running, what, $85 or something for the two kits. And uh, if you can't get there with what they've got here, you're probably not too far away from having, you know, just maybe a couple different things that you might need customized or whatever, but you're probably not too far away from having what you need with, uh, with just buying these two. Not sure what's going on there. Hmm. Looks like some, uh, maybe a medical lab or something. We'll see that in probably the interior kit. Yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. And you even got some uh, missile weapons. That's funny. What's going on there? Sci-fi head in a jar. <laughs> the version of a sci-fi head in a jar, I guess. You may not see that as well, depending on what screen you're on, but it's like a head suspended in some, some type of a beam. Let's go over this way. I'm going to take a look at our characters. So you got some, uh, looks like Space Marines, and you see some of them are missing heads, so somewhere there's a pile of heads that go on these things, or you can swap them out in different suits. Uh, Cynthia does have some modular packages where... The heads are interchangeable, the body parts are interchangeable, so I would think you could probably even incorporate some of that with this. And with those um, attachments, or where these have the bald heads or whatever, you can put a socket on there and then attach different things to those, which we talked a little bit about last night. There's some heads in the background and some hair pieces. So, so there's your there's your like eyes and tops of heads and hair and all that stuff. So you just socket those onto the character and you're going to have a bunch of variations on there. So that's pretty cool that they did that that way. Really nice looking. Like I said, I've been I've been uh on the website looking at a lot of these different characters. I mean, I bought it cuz I just thought it looked really nice. And I had, you know, an idea of maybe putting together some type of a space game at one point I probably still will but I'm working on a uh, couple different bigger things right now that are a lot further along I bought a couple of uh, kits that are real real close to the way that I wanted something for a large game so working on that with uh, actually working with the developer of the kits which is really cool um, a guy named Msod Brushbeard I mentioned him a long time ago with his platform development kits but uh, since I did that video we started talking about you know, I needed some help with a couple of things, and real nice guy. And uh, we're working on getting together maybe a collaborative uh, type deal to to try and bring one of his uh, platformer kits into a full game and get that out on the marketplace somewhere soon. Probably, guessing probably like the first quarter of next year. Maybe that thing will be ready for for prime time. A little plug there for the eventual game. And these are really nice little panels here. You got it all. And what else do we have up over here? Again, if you happen to be on and you see something that you want to zoom in on, go ahead. That's why I'm doing these as, uh, as live streams. These aren't tutorials. These are just asset pack overviews. Trying to help sending out with their sale. 50% off till the end of May. And I put this up as a live stream in case somebody happened to pop on and see something they wanted me to zoom in on. Um, you can't really do that if it's a static video, and I put this out, you know, two or three days after editing it. So, I guess that's probably our transporter area. Our space veggies. And, looks like some interior. So, there's, there's some of the stuff that you would put in for, like, your interiors for the hangars and stuff going into your space station this is probably a set of cargo doors that open up and you dock your ship in here you know and then you would walk around and you they probably have all these little modular sections over here's a landing pad yeah so these would be used to create like corridors and hallways and hatches and openings and stuff like that all through the the ship and these would almost certainly be modular in the sense that they're going to be a very specific um number to snap together you'd make these really quick and that's probably why they were showing up showing up in that Ali Akbar kit because you would be able to literally click a button and randomly generate a, a space station or a corridor using his packages 
Yeah, it's really cool. Very neat. And you know what? I the, the thing that I find, and I don't know if any of the guys from the Cinti Development Company are looking at any of this stuff, but that is the common question that I get for a lot of these kits. Um, if you guys happen to be watching, is really in the faces of the models. It's that the the end users really want more detail on these faces. And I know, as I said earlier, the nature of these is that they're low poly. But somewhere between this and um, a slightly higher resolution, even if it's just in the face. And I think you would get a little bit more action. So if anybody from Cinti's out there watching, I'm going to give that to you guys as a free idea and suggestion. You know, you don't have to send me any money or anything. I appreciate what you do. You guys go ahead and keep that. I know it's a million dollar, dollar idea, but uh, I'm not greedy. So that is our overview for the exterior. Then we'll go, let's go demonstration exterior. So that gives us even more, look at that uh, real nice looking sky map out there. And you've got some more of the uh, asteroids and rocks and the planet's a little further away now. You've got some teleport tunnels in here which are really cool looking. What the hell I just did? My... I mean, my camera is moving. It just seems like it's not... It's just such a large area. There we go. Yeah, I was... I had my camera moving, but it didn't look like I was going anywhere because these things are so giant and far apart out here. But you get some, uh, you know, larger debris piles. Some really cool features here. And I think right now I'm flying around in a pack that was uh, on sale for 60 bucks right now. So again, you know, take a look at this. And if you're planning on building the game and you don't want to spend the time of your life to model all this stuff and put it out there and put textures on it and work on all this, some people enjoy that. I'd rather work on game logic and you know trying to get the finished product together. And then you can always go back and rework things, you know, after you actually find something successful. But these packages are just chock full of goodness. And again, I'm not financially compensated by Cinti. I don't work for those guys or anything like that. I'm not, you know, I'm not a, a professional educator or work for Enrio or anything. I'm just somebody who appreciates good work. And I'll tell you, that looks really cool from inside of the heading into it. When they got that set up, it's a really nice looking gate. I don't want to go in there. God knows where that thing goes. Now, I would think that these also are just kind of higher level for landing out there. You're not going to see any interior in this, I don't, I don't think. Nah, you wouldn't have that in there. Nope. But if we go now to our demonstration interior, this is where you're going to find... Ooh, now, see, now I'm on a much smaller scale. So let me turn this thing down. All right, so now I'm inside of, like say that was that cargo bay that we looked at earlier, and you've got maybe you know something where you're working on this. Now this this interior portion looks like that's about all that that is, is a one big giant hangar, and a couple of other buildings here. Let's see what's in there. If anything, that might just be a landing pad. No, oh, that's actually got some. Okay, it's actually got some stuff going on inside of it. So you could plunk these down and run around inside of them. Try and follow down through these corridors. You'll see some of that stuff. So there's the growing plants. And yeah, it's actually a pretty cool little complex going on here. In fact, I'm guessing... Let me see if I hit play. Yeah, there's my guy. So I'll just run around in here. We can always go back out. So there's even a set of steps in here. Yeah, so this is all laid out. I mean, these guys do so much work. And for 60 bucks to buy all the assets, have somebody lay something out that's already usable that you could literally just plunk this down and check your game logic out or have your, you know, your sci-fi uh, shootout on the ship type game or whatever it is or, you know, jump in a spaceship and shoot each other type thing. You got all that stuff already done for you to get started. I don't know where I'm heading, but 
think I wanted to go up here and turn right. I think I missed this area. So what do we have here? Just like a little mess hall, maybe? A little cafeteria? Actually reminds me of, like, uh, the next iteration of McDonald's. <laughs> Probably what that's going to look like. Oh, that's really cool. Look at that. This is just incredible for the price, guys. I have to go in there a little smaller. Oh, there's some uh, people waiting to be woken up for the next iteration of whatever we're doing. Hopefully this translates pretty well. Now, it's what's going on here is that my character has a uh, collision mesh um, around it that's and the character's taller than the um, the synthy skeleton. So a real quick way around this, I'm just I'll just go ahead and do this. If you hit escape, I'm going to go down here into the third person blueprint, and I'll go into the third person character. A super fast way to to deal with this, and yeah, you know, somebody's going to get me for this, the internet police. But if you go into the capsule component, and you pull up the editor over here, I got it kind of pull off the side. One thing you could do real quick is you just take your scale and put this guy at like 0.85 for each of the axes. And you'll see that his this changed, so I'll put it back where it was. If I go 1, 1, 1, you see how he is now? So if I take this and dial him down to 0 0.85, 0 0.85, and 0 0.85, it makes him just small enough in most cases that you can now, hopefully, fit through a doorway. There you go. I think, you know, it just seems like the, the scale for the Sinti models is just a little... There's a nice uh, bunk bed there. The, sale for the, skin, the scale for the Sinti models is just slightly smaller than the traditional mannequin. So, the other way to fix that, the proper way in most cases to fix that, would be to change the capsule half height so that you're not actually modifying it. But I, I just find scaling the whole thing at the capsule level also shrinks down the model. And for me, it's quicker. And here's the other thing. Let me see if this... No, they fixed that. All right. In some maps, when you build them yourself, you'll find that as you get behind walls and stuff, that your camera gets jacked up. But see how this one's actually flying in? You fix that in the camera settings go back to F11, go back to your third person character and you have a camera boom <clears throat> and this little thing says do collision test on the camera collision if you flip that on what will happen is when your camera is getting um, interrupted by a, a collidable mesh it moves the camera in closer to the character so that you can still see the character without being stuck in behind the wall. If I took that off I'll just show you what it would do. If I take do collision test off of that, and it's at the camera boom, not the camera itself. If I take that off of there and hit play again, see now what should happen, and I'll probably make a liar out of me, but what should happen is if I pan around, see now my camera, I can't see my guy anymore. So you see that? That's what happens if you have it shut off. And you're like, oh no, where did my guy go? To fix that for yourself, again, you go into your blueprint, and you go to the camera boom and you go down here and put on do collision test compile save go back and hit play and now that thing will zoom in on your character whenever it has to to avoid colliding with the thing that little tip right there is probably worth the uh... the entire video i don't know you guys will have to assess that for yourself but that used to drive me nuts, and again, I've you know I've been working with Mside Brushbeard from the uh, platformer kit, and you know, we were talking about some of that, and I had modified his camera settings <clears throat> to show a little bit more overview of the level um, that I was trying to to do some work in because I didn't know where everything was at because he put it there, so I changed the camera angle so I could run around and see things a little bit easier, and then my my collision started happening where the camera was lost, and he told me how to fix it, and it made my life uh, happy again, you know. So I wanted to look in here. I couldn't get in there a minute ago. Oh, that's where we were at. Yeah, okay, cool. So I don't know, guys. This is uh, 
I haven't been on that long because, you know, like I said, it was kind of a late night getting started here. But I just wanted to show you these packs and I'm going to do two things here real quick. I don't want to get too much into the, you know, the retargeting and rebuilding the world type of thing tonight. Just because it's a work night for me and hopefully a lot of other people are going back to work now. And you have the same problem I do, which is an early morning coming at you. But I, I wanted to, you know, throw these up so that you get an opportunity to see them. And we wanted to go... Probably one last thing I did want to see. I saw that there were a lot of those characters out there. I do like to look at the meshes for these things. So, Polygon Sci-Fi characters. And you can see in here, you got a lot of these guys. And there's your, there's your attachable heads. You got head blanks. And then you can put helmets on them and stuff. So if you don't know what I mean by what I said earlier about putting these things on uh, on the bodies, I'll do it with, let's say we got, and I'll tell you that it's a headless soldier here. So let's say Space Soldier Male Zero One. You can see that you got that with no head, right? Space Soldier Male Zero One. So if I go into the skeleton and I go to the preview mesh for that, I think I said it was space. Space soldier male. No, nah, what was it? I literally just had it on there. What the hell was it? Space. CHR space soldier male underscore zero one. Well, actually, I could probably have gotten there this way. Yeah, go to that thing and then look at the skeleton tree. And then go to the skeleton. So this is... Character Space Soldier Male. Zero one. So that should be this. Okay. That was a lot of fun. So you got that, which is your headless character. And if you look where the head socket is, there's just a socket there, head. Well, if you right click on this and you go down to add preview asset and you type in the word head, you're gonna get those different little heads that are in there. And so if I were to take this thing and attach it, now all I have to do is determine where this thing should be and what its orientation is and I can I'm gonna hold down my alt key and left click and move around and look at what we got here so it, it's like he's pretty close but it's just uh, the socket is just needing a little rotation so you grab this rotate this back normally it's going to be off by 90 degrees and whatever you work with and then if we look at that you can go down a little bit further and see if his head's in there so now you would just want to pull your translation tool up and you can move this guy up a little bit so actually there must be another socket there let's see because that shouldn't pull that up like that yeah maybe when you maybe we want to put his this head on his neck so let's go we'll go uh, remove all attached assets and we'll go to the next socket and we'll go add preview asset and put a head on there and we'll find you know as you play with this you'll find out where these go so I don't know if I can just move that head so that's gonna that's also gonna do the mesh okay so an easier way then is we go like this we say remove all attached assets so go to the head right click on here and say add socket and now you have a head socket and now you can take that head socket and say add preview asset and put that on the head and find whatever you're looking at a second ago now the head socket can be relocated independent of the mesh for the body see that but they're parented so it's still going to move around together and now you could go and move this thing around and get it located wherever you wanted to in relationship to to your uh, character here 
probably easier for me to hit Control Z and bring that back over to where it belongs. There we go. All right, so I got his head socket again. I can uh, I can pull over here and use this to kind of just stick his stuff where it belongs. If you watched my video the other night where I was dealing with uh, some of the other asset packs, I did something similar to this. And you can pull you know pull his neck over to wherever it belongs. Again, there's you know you just have to play with it and stick it next to other things. It looks a little tall. Whoa. Now I've just duplicated that because I'm holding down my... Uh... I did that the other night, too. I hate it when I do that. These can go away. Delete that socket. Yeah, actually, when you're holding down the uh, the key, that's a hot key for um, creating additional sockets and everything. So I'll get rid of those. Go back here to the head socket. And quit duplicating stuff. So I gotta let go of that button as I'm moving around. So I move this over a little bit, kind of get it where I want it, sink it down in there. You know, if, uh, you just have to kind of get it to where you like it. All right, let's say that let's say that that's the way we want it. Maybe it's coming back a little bit, but again, you can tweak these. Once you get it where you want it, though, let's say that's, let's say we love that for whatever reason. What you can do now is you just swap out the different heads. So if I say remove attached assets, I can go in here again and say add preview asset and look up head. And now I could put a different character's head in that socket spot. And you're going to get these to where they, where they should fit, you know. But once you get the socket figured out, you just, in the script, you just tell it where to attach to. And uh, then the same thing on this, on the same uh, thing, you could add another virtual bone or another socket, rather. And so this one you could call, like, head attachment. All right. So same thing, you would go in and say, add preview asset. And maybe on this one you have, like, a helmet or something that doesn't have a head in it. Yeah, so he's calling. They're calling these attach, right? So now you can take the head attachment socket, and you can move that around, and get that on the on the thing. So now you've got a head in a head socket that's inside of the helmet attachment, and you could, you would do this for your random pickups and stuff. So as you're running around in the level, you know, you want your character to be able to grab this, and since they're parented this way as one of these moves the other one will move so that neck bone or that socket that's underneath of the head every time the head would get moved around this head socket would go with it and I can show you that a little bit better in some other examples I mean this is kind of impromptu and I didn't really want to get into too much of this tonight but it just you know again you kind of have to explain some of these things as you're going through them just to kind of get people to um, you have to explain them in order to show them you know so there is that, um, but I think this, I think these things look pretty cool, and then they give you the bald heads also, so that you can go and do that and add different hair to them, and this really neat asset packs. So with that being said, it looks like uh, what's that, Captain? Uh, oh, now I moved that. Uh, I moved his head earlier. Remember, when I was playing a runner. put it back 90. I rotated that socket when we first started talking. And I'm going to go ahead and clear these and it should give me back. <laughs> I'm moving the wrong stuff here because I'm doing this randomly. Put that back where it belongs. I would put, I would have to rotate the other sockets to fit uh, the right spot. The guy looked like uh, John Luke Picard. Now the other thing that's fun too, a lot of people may not know this but in some cases if you have I did this in a video last night there are some this one you can't really do it here it doesn't look like but there are some of these that you can change the scale of these attachments if they had some default stuff laying on them like I don't know if this guy has one but sometimes you'll find a character that has like pre-attached weapons on the mesh and what you do is you just go in there and you, you find the bone that it's attached to and then zero out the size of it. I, I showed, showed that last night in some of the uh, other Cinti characters that are there. 
But what are we going to do? I'm going to go ahead and wrap that up for the, uh, the stream portion of this for the sci-fi kits. Hopefully you guys got some value out of seeing all that. And again, the if you're joining late or whatever, you're watching this halfway through, you skip through. Cindy's having a uh, lockdown sale, 50% off top assets until the end of May. Uh, again, I'm not financially compensated by Cinti. I just like their kits. Sci-fi pack right now, which we looked at earlier, um, $25 right now. And the space pack that goes along with sci-fi for $60 right now for say 85 bucks. All the stuff that I just showed you in that video, um, basically, you know, accessible to you for free at that, or not for free, but for that price, you get all those things rather. <clears throat> now, the other thing I was looking at is on the marketplace. There's this thing in here called Space Fighter GR2. This is only 25 bucks. Now this guy has some ships that are already built in here. And he's got a uh, you know predefined set of planets, cockpits, and all that kind of stuff. He just doesn't have all the other aspects of that. But if you look at the preview video for this, let me turn this down. Well, actually, just thrusters and stuff. I'll turn it down anyway. But if you look, he's got a nice little cockpit going on in here, and he's got some uh, predefined collidable objects, and you can scroll around in space. You've got damage I guess he's kind of showing you in here what's going on there's three different views there you get the side view <clears throat> I don't know if you ever played uh, Destiny <laughs> but Destiny kind of has a thing like this where they do a fly through going to your different planets and then they give you the top down and they also give you a rear view so if you're into an actual combat and he's got you know objects in here we can destroy these and I guess my thought is, thinking out loud, is that if you were to take this UE4 Fighter GR2 kit and those other assets, for around a hundred and some bucks, you probably have everything that you need to build a game. I don't know how... I haven't worked with this, so, again, you'd have to check this out for yourself. But I can only imagine that you could just change out what these asteroids are and what this ship is and use the logic for the game to make it work. But even from a distance, some of these things are kind of kind of low poly. So you could get there with blending these in with some of those other kits that we saw. And again, you just change the, the asset uh, textures out on some of these and it makes them look pretty good. So I might buy this to go along with that space pack just because I think that it's probably something that I, <laughs> I'll end up using. So... In fact, I'll just go ahead and buy it now. I'll put it on there. Place that order. So there we go. That's my contribution to the pile. I'll check it out. I'll let you guys know what I think of it. They do have a demo that you could download. And it tells you a bunch of stuff here. And I don't see anything on there for the documentation on the website. But it does say it's in the blueprints. And in the review that I read for this, I only had one review. But the review was that the blueprints are incredibly clean, very well put together. The amount of individual assets that comes with it with sound effects and visual effects, top notch. Incredibly happy with the way the ship's been put together. The cockpit can open and close. So, like I said, for 25 bucks or whatever, you know, we got ourselves a, a space fighter. Fully playable space fighter includes baked thruster, lighting, customizable lasers, shields, destructions, and more packaged with a realistic space environment. So maybe I'll put out the big next uh, Cinti space shooter skinned onto his uh, Space Fighter GR2. That's uh, I mentioned this in the other video, or a couple of videos. That's what I like to do. I like to buy assets. You're paying somebody for the development time. They've already put all this together. And, you know, you can leverage a lot of these pretty quick to make your own game. And then you just, at that point, you change it and make it something special for you. Maybe you want to have a game where you're doing, uh, you know, uh, commerce and trade between planets so you fly your ship out there you broker a deal with somebody you set up a trade route and now you have cargo ships running back and forth bringing products from one place to another and that's the whole game for you your game is to go out and meet new races and cultures and establish trade routes you know um, kind of like if you were to take uh, ports of call and put it in space and I think there was a game like this when I was younger it was called uh, I think it was called like gazillionaire or something and it, it's exactly what was going on with that game. You'd fly around the different planets, set up trade routes and, and all that kind of stuff. So that's not an original idea. Um, 
But do you want to spend your time building thruster logic for a spaceship and get realistic physics together for how asteroids should blow up in space or any of that stuff, you know? So you just kind of got to draw the line somewhere and figure out what it is that you want. I don't know why it says my shopping cart saw so something in it. What's going on here? Oh, this is the vehicle variety pack. I wanted to go ahead and check that out also. So I'll go ahead and get that while we're at it. So that's on sale rate or, um, that's actually, I mean, I'll show you this real quick too. This is kind of off topic for the Cinti thing because we got to the end of the video. But if you go in right now, um, Epic Content, free for the month, they have the targeting system, sci-fi robot, which goes into your space pack, really, if you think about it, drivable cars, basic pack, which looks pretty good because you got uh, four stars with 12 reviews in there, and then you have materialized visual effects. So this drivable cars package, GTA-style drivable cars for Unreal Engine, including three basic models. So I was like, okay, well, let me go and get, and get that. I mean, it's obviously free. You want to get every free asset you can and rip it apart and see what's going on with it. But if you go in here into the Epic content and you go permanently free collection, it just so happens that they have a vehicle variety pack that's in the permanently free collection that had 70 reviews at 4.63 stars. So I'm imagining that you know, even though these there's only a couple of cars here that are free, you know, you can take these and, and couple them up with that uh, other kit, hopefully, and you have some maybe realistic physics and drivable cars for something. Or maybe I take uh, that other kit and stick it on those um, Cinti packs that we talked about the other night. I don't know. That's what I like to do. So I don't want to drag this out too much longer than I already have. I know this is a little bit shorter than the one from the other night, and I didn't really do too much uh, technical overview. But what I'm hoping is that I can get these Cinti Asset Pack reviews knocked out over the next uh, day or so, and then get back to doing tutorials. If you guys have things that you need help with, let me know. Again, my content's geared primarily towards um, people who are newer, like myself. And my hope is that somebody sees one of my videos and goes, hey, that's not the easiest way to retarget that. The easiest way is to do this. Or, you know, whatever, maybe give me a tip. Help me understand some things because I'm putting some stuff out there. I want to help people if I can, but I'm also looking for feedback. And I uh, appreciate you guys taking the time to tune in. I know some of you have reached out to me on Discord. We've had some pretty good conversations, and I'm here to help. If you guys have questions that I can actually answer for you, be more than happy to do that. So, again, TC Made with TC Gaming. I'm going to go ahead and sign off of the uh, live stream tonight. Go ahead and check out those Cinti asset packs which are on sale right now check out some of the other really cool things that are out in your free for the month um, with the uh, unreal engine and here's something too while we're in this that some people may not know if you go into your launcher for epic there's a learn tab here and under the learn tab they have a lot, you know, there's other documentation, some of the online classes, which teach you quite a few things and the community stuff. But more, more importantly, I think if you scroll down, you see some of these engine feature samples, chaos construction demo, pixel streaming demos. So these are all pretty cool. Um, but you get down in here a little bit further and you're going to find games. And under games, you have these templates like shooter game. This is actually pretty cool, but it's I think it's really geared for like multiplayer uh, type of thing. And it's just got a lot of neat stuff in it. So you could even put this shooter game together with your sci-fi packages and use some of the logic from that for, you know, for the combat or whatever. Here's vehicle game. So again, you take those vehicles, you take and merge them together. And uh, it's just, it's a really neat way to get up and running with some stuff. That action RPG kit I featured in uh, some of my other live streams a long time ago or in some of my tutorial videos. Um, I didn't get too deep into the weeds with it because, again, I got sidetracked into some other stuff. But hopefully you guys get a chance to check some of these things out and, uh, you know, go through and, and learn about what's going on in here. And this is just such a great time to be able to capitalize on, uh, you know, taking your, your free time if you have some left or whatever. And you can learn... Uh, video game programming with Unreal Engine for basically free unless you end up starting to make money with it. And there's a lot of great marketplace content out there, you know. Um, hopefully, it, hopefully it helps you guys out. And, you know, again, if you see something that you're interested in, turn it into a tutorial, uh, more formal 
tutorial or whatever, feel free to let me know. And we'll do what we can to try and get you some help. All right. So, again, my name is TC Mabe, TC Gaming. Thanks for tuning in tonight. You guys have a fantastic night, and I will catch you in one of the next live streams. Again, uh, tomorrow night, I think we're going to do uh, the city pack, the farm pack. And if I have time, I might sneak in something else. And I think that I'm going to wrap it up with, like, the western pack and all that probably on like you know thursday wednesday thursday friday yeah a couple of days from now we're gonna have this all wrapped up because i didn't buy the apocalypse pack in the fantasy kingdom and it's i i love the the prices for these right now but quite honestly if you've been watching these streams you'll see that i have thousands and thousands and thousands of Cinti polygon assets for the stuff that i'm interested in building right now fantasy kingdom for me is the augmentation of some of these other kits that I already have and I haven't even tapped the surface of what I've gotten with them you know with for that I'm not trying to discourage you by you guys from buying you know Polygon Fantasy Kingdom because there's a ton of cool stuff in there and if I if I needed something for Fantasy Kingdoms I would definitely start there uh, but I already have the dungeon packs and I have the um, fantasy characters and yeah you know, I got a lot of the stuff that goes into that kit I just bought it as it was coming out they got new stuff in there. Um, but anyway, I, I think we already went through most of these. I did, um, let's see, we did sci-fi, sci-fi space. I did dungeon and dungeons map. We could talk about nature pack. That's uh, pretty easy. I don't have gang warfare. Why don't I have gang warfare? I don't know if I, maybe it's just something I didn't want. Maybe I'll buy that uh, later on. Maybe I'll buy it now. Well, no, I don't want to buy it now because it's going to pull up my, uh, I'll, I'll buy it at the end of this. When you guys can't see my billing information. Because <laughs> it has my address on there. But Polygon uh, Gang Warfare, maybe I'll get that and we'll review it as well. Um, I did the Pirate Pack. Tomorrow night we're going to do City Pack, Farm Pack, and Town Pack probably. We did War and Battle Royale. I'm going to put Western Pack and Western Frontier together to go through that. We already did Adventure and Knights, and actually the Heist Pack, I'm going to put that in with our discussion tomorrow night with City, because it works really well with City Pack. And then, uh, probably that's about it, and then you're starting to get into the Simple Series, which I don't own any of those. But, uh, we'll check these out tomorrow night, and, uh, probably have them wrapped up by Thursday. And then I'll get back to doing more in-depth tutorials and, you know, mergings of kits and stuff like that to Try and get some things out there for you. So that should just about wrap it up for me. Now, here's another thing I'll throw out there, too. If you go back into YouTube and you're looking for more information on some of these kits, um, there's a guy out here named Beefalo Bart. And Beefalo Bart, when I first started, he, he was really doing a lot of stuff. You go to his channel, and I want to say that if you go in here to his videos... You can search these videos and just, I think if you type in Cinti, oops, Cinti, I don't know if he pulls them up there or maybe it's just Polygon. So he's got a lot of videos in here. Here's an hour and 32 minutes working with Cinti Studios. Cinti Studios, Polygon Nature, Polygon Asset Packs, Polygon Versus Simple, Polygon Western. You know, he did a lot of reviews. This was like over a year ago, two years ago. And he does a really nice job of setting these up make sure you flip on the live chat if he had it enabled for these because sometimes when i was watching his videos i'd be in the middle of doing something somebody talked to him and then you know he starts talking to him i didn't know what the question was i just knew what the answer was but if you flip on the uh, live chat same thing with mine every once in a while i get somebody asking a question or whatever and, and I, I respond to him but he does a lot of stuff with Cindy. so just go in there and check out his content if you're looking for more resources to get you started with with the Cinti thing. And why do we talk about the Cinti thing all the time? Why am I bringing this up? Because for the value, for this little bit of money, if you're getting started, you need assets, you need buildings, you need cars, weapons, vehicles, characters, whatever. Low poly costs a lot less money in most cases. Polygon series from Cinti is one of the best values for the buck that I've found so far in the, in the low poly market. Their stuff looks good. Most of it, if you're just doing, you know, dungeon crawls and random stuff like that, you could always swap the characters out with something a little bit more detailed if you want to. Uh, as long as you don't go, like, you know, photorealistic on top of low poly, you can kind of meet somewhere in the middle, and it works out pretty good. But, uh, you know, 
when when you first get rolling, you're probably down this path because you want to save as much money as you can. You don't want to you don't want to spend way too much to, to do it. Now the other thing that uh, Beefalo Bart did, which I thought was pretty cool, he's got these things called Try Before You Buy, and he has some um, these TB4s. Try Before You Buy is basically where he goes in and he takes one of the Cinti kits and he makes it a playable demo. And then for a couple of bucks, I don't I don't even know what he charges. I say a couple of bucks might be five dollars, ten dollars, whatever. He sets them up, builds out a level with the assets and everything, and then gives it basically a run through. And you can buy the the try before you buy to run around. Right. So it, what he's he's saying here, like I'll, I don't even know what this is. It's just totally random. So this is Polygon Town. And if you go into this, so he's made a game, a little run around. This is my try before you buy demo made for them to showcase. It's also a new pack. Download link will be in the video description, but can be found on my Discord channel. So you click in here, and uh, let's see. I don't know what he's got going on here. Streamlabs, Beefless. This is all the ways to fund him, I'm sure. Download link will be in the video description. I don't see that, unless it's on, maybe it's one of these. I don't know if that's a store. I'm not sure I've never clicked on that, but I'm not gonna click on it on here because I don't know what it takes you to, and I don't want to. I don't want to find out. I'll check it out. But um, again, he you know he turns these into like little playable demos. You can see over here he's got a he's got a single player multiplayer kind of setup. The asset pack doesn't include any of the animations, music, or menu systems when you when you buy everything, but you can actually run around in here. You're not gonna get the Cinti models through this, but you're gonna get an opportunity to run around in the in the Cinti environment as a character and check everything out before you commit the money to buy in that. So if you're interested in the kit that I showed you, you might be interested in buying a kit from him to actually run around and explore it and then plunk down the money. I don't, I don't again know what these cost, but I remember, I think at one time he said they were, they weren't that much like five or 10 bucks or something, which is super cheap for somebody to set up a, you know, a playable demo environment for you and run around. So, uh, well, that's my that's my dissertation for tonight. That's my soapbox. So thanks again for watching. I've been getting off here for seven minutes, and I keep getting distracted, distracting myself. So I'm going to wrap it up here. You guys have a great night. Again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in one of the next live streams. You guys take care and be safe, and I hope everybody gets back to work soon if you're not already back to work, and uh, we'll make it through this. So take care. See you soon.